the next thing is that you want to find job opportunities. You want to find job opportunities. There are jobs online uh, sometimes, and uh, and that people don't get the right person. I'll share you with you this story, uh, and I hope my stories are fine. Um, recently, one of the top financial companies in Zimbabwe, I, I know the people who work there. They called me, said, "Trust, we had an interview for uh, digital marketers. Uh, we uh, we had six hundred applicants." Uh, we screened about 15 of them. We had an interview, but we are said to tell you that of the 15 people that we shortlisted and interviewed, we didn't find the right person. And what were they looking for? They were looking for skills. And in this world today, academic knowledge is very important. And I, I've been to, um, I've been to university myself, but one of the most critical things now is skills. So I'll also share with this to everybody who is listening to say that academic knowledge makes you a disciplined person. It makes you a person who can think, who can solve problems, and who can handle things under pressure. And um, trust me, uh, for efficiency in any, in any job, I would, I would hire a graduate to, to do it. It will be done very well. Trust me for that. But I'll tell you something. When it comes to things getting done in the office, things getting done in the job, or even in our own office, we do not hire people for their education. We hire people for what they can provide the company. We hire people for um, the skills they have. So I want to urge you, actually learn skills. So if you are a marketer, for example, learn the skill of Facebook advertising. Learn it, master it, become a pro in it. If you are a marketer, for example, learn the skill of getting a website seen on, on Google, which is called SEO. Learn it, master it, and be good at it so that when you are given a chance, okay, you say you can do this, do it you are actually able to do it. If you say you are, a, 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 what do you call them? These people who draw house plans, like a engineering, drawing, I'm forgetting the technical graphics, whatever. If you say that's what you do, then we should be able to get you to draw a plan that works, that gets approved at the council. Learn the skills involved in your career. It will take you very far. And then show that you know, because eventually people need things done. I usually laugh with my accounting friends and say, you know why a lot of accounting graduates are on the street and they are not working because they speak Japan. When they come to a small business, say, but what do you do in accounting? The guy says, well, we just have uh, $300, $400 a day income. So why do we need an accounting for? And this guy should have rather said, when you hire me, I'm going to save you from all these quarrels with Zimra and all these quarrels with tax uh, collecting, uh, tax authorities in your country. I'm going to do away with all that. I'm going to sort that out for you. Yeah, tax is an issue for small businesses, especially when they want to get VAT and all those kind of higher, higher things. And if this guy positioned himself as a person who can help with those things, it's going to get hired because he's now, taught, he's now spoken of a skill that the business needs, not necessarily an accounting profession. And I hope this helps somebody and I hope this uh, is uh, useful for somebody. So yeah, um, I would encourage you while we are now waiting for questions and to be tabulated and to be brought forward for discussion, I would urge you to use social media with high discretion. There is evil out there and God willing, maybe uh, all things being together, next week we'll talk about the misinformation, how to judge content on social media, how to, how to detect lies and how to verify things on social media and how you, 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 you can save yourself from being gullible um, and bad examples to avoid good people and how to identify so many things. We'll talk about it in the misinformation uh, session that we'll have God willing uh, next week. Um, but otherwise, I'll urge you use it to advantage, use it to advance. It's a tool. You can either use it to build or you can use it to destroy somebody and destroy uh, to destroy lives. So yeah, I think my talking will end here while I'm waiting for patients in the MCs to, to take over.